So today I tested the first forward flight and it went actually way better than expected. And then I tested the return to home, it landed, everything was perfect. And then I wanted to try to do another flight, forward flight. And as I was transitioning, I was headed towards the tree and then I veered left and the plane started rolling right. And unfortunately now it is about 10 meters up a tree somewhere over there, which is really unfortunate. And I need to find a way to bring it down. But hey, it was inevitable, right? Huge disclaimer here. Flying a UAV in an urban park was one of the stupidest things I've done. I was not planning on doing anything other than a hover test, but emotion and excitement got the better of me, so I decided to try forward flight. The park was rather deserted that day, but this is exactly the reason those kinds of things are condemned by both enthusiasts and the public. Lesson learned, moving on. Next we made a 7 meter stick by duct taping a lot of branches together, and with the heroism of my friend Nikki, we somehow managed to bring it down before it started raining, which could have caused the battery to short circuit. So never again. Next up, let's try to figure out what caused the crash by looking at the flight logs. So this green line is our altitude. So up to here we are in hover, raising in altitude. And then this is when we start the transition. It says transition airspeed weight. And this is when it's trying to raise the airspeed. And then it reached the desired transition. Like something happened, as you can see, it went up in altitude very rapidly. And then as soon as the transition was done, this is the line that indicates vibrations. So this is the exact moment of the crash. And right after the crash, we have a subsystem tree error called for error which is the inability to read from the compass uh, because it was actually unplugged during the crash. Uh, so yes, this is the moment of the crash, we just need to figure out what happened. And I initially assumed it's the battery voltage, uh, but it isn't because it, the lowest point is just over 21 volts. I do have a failsafe at 21.6 which should have entered the failsafe here, but for some reason it didn't. So as soon as I figure out what's going on, I'm gonna share it with you. As you've already seen, I disassembled the Pathfinder 1, uh, so all that's left now is like, carbon tubes and all the electronics that I have here. Uh, it was a bit emotional because like, it was such a high high getting up in the air and then such a low low when it crashed. Uh, but I'm gonna do everything once again and hopefully do it better this time.